ان الحمد لله نحمد تعالى ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو محتد ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وشر لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له وشر ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم ايها الاحباب may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and you and forgive us and you and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslims everywhere. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ayol Ahbab, the heart begins to feel pain when we reflect upon what is happening to our brothers and sisters in Ethiopia and our brothers and sisters in Yemen and in Syria and Iraq and, and everywhere. And Ayol Ahbab, I've witnessed with my own eyes the beauty of the Dawah of Ahl Sunnah in Yemen and as well as Ethiopia. And our brothers and sisters in Ethiopia suffer at the hands of Jamaat al Ahbash wa Ashabihim and their companions. And that the brothers and sisters should know around the world. And this fitna, this chaos, and this turmoil, and this oppression should be highlighted of what our brothers and sisters are going through. And they should know that we stand with them all the way in Washington, from Washington, Washington State. We stand with our brothers from Ahl Sunnah, wherever they may be, because our call is to Allah Azza wa Jal. Our call is to Tawheed, to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is our da'wah. Our da'wah, the da'wah to Ahl sunnah is not a da'wah of, of uh, extremism and chaos and turmoil and terror. But rather it's a da'wah to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we call all of mankind to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ وَالْجِنَّ وَلَا إِنْتِ لَلِي عَبُدُونَ I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِهِ الْكَرِيمِ وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولٍ إِنْ نِعْبُدُ اللَّهُ وَاجْتَنِبُوا تَعْبُودٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we have sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid those other things worship besides Him. Ayah al-Ahbab, Raise your hands in supplication that Allah protects Ahl Sunnah from being jailed as they're already being jailed, from being oppressed as they're already being oppressed, and from being caused harm, and from their lectures being prohibited and their mosques, their masajid being shut down as they're being, as this is happening, as we speak to Ahl Sunnah in Ethiopia. Ayah al-Ahbab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا مُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةً Verily the believers are brothers. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, الْمُؤْمِنْ لِلْمُؤْمِنْ كِلْبُنْيَانِ يُشِدُّهُ بَعْضُهُ بَعْضًا The Prophet alayhi afdhal salatu wa salam said, The mu'min, the believer, is a brother to the believer. And they, they are like a structure. And they strengthen one another. They support one another. So we support our brothers and sisters through prayer and supplication, asking that Allah relieves them. And this is an obligation upon us, that when we see our brothers and sisters suffering, that we should at least raise our hands if we don't have financial ability to help them or a way to remove the evil and harm that has befallen them in the trial and the tribulations. As it came in the hadith, the hadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, عن أبي سيد الخدري رضي الله تعالى عنه قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول من رأى منكم منكر فليغيره بيد فإن لم يستطعف بلسانه فإن لم يستطعف بقلبه وذلك عدو في الإيمان رواه مسلم إن حديث صحيح مسلم فحديث أبي سيد الخدري خدري رضي الله تعالى عنه he said that the I heard the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم saying Whoever amongst you sees a munkar, something sinful or wicked, then change it with his hands. And if he's unable to do so, then change it with his tongue, meaning speak out against it. And if he's unable to do so, then do it. Then uh, change it with his heart. And that's the weakest form of, uh, of iman, 
Ayyul Ahbab, the Prophet ﷺ said, all of those levels are levels of Iman. So if you cannot change a harm, which we have no ability to do so physically, then at least with your tongue speak out against it. And we're able to do that. From Imbab at Ghayr al-Munkar bilisan, we speak out against this. We're not pleased with this. And we supplicate to Allah that Allah removes the harm for Ahl Sunnah so they can continue their da'wah, calling people to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because that's what we do. That's what it's about. It's about calling people to come back to the worship of Allah Azza wa Jal alone. And we hope for guidance for all of Ethiopia and all of the people. And we even hope for guidance for Jamaat al Ahbash who are working who are working with the Shayateen from amongst the mankind and jinn to oppress Ahl Sunnah and to harm Ahl Sunnah and to overcome the masajid of Ahl Sunnah. We even hope that Allah guides them away from devilishness and wickedness and deviance and aqidah and creed and minhaj that Allah guides them. May yahdi Allah fu muhtad. Whoever Allah guides, no one can mislead and, he's, he, and, and that person is guided. But if Allah doesn't guide you, وَمَنْ يُدْلُوا فَلَا هَادِيَ لَهُ and if Allah doesn't guide them, they won't be guided. So that's not in our hands. But we call them. We invite Jamaat al Bash. Come, stay, move, remove that evil, the creed. Your leader, he's dead. Abdullah Harari cannot benefit you anymore. Nor could he benefit you in life. He only caused you harm because he spread deviance to you. But you can repent. And you can go into his books and look and compare his books to the Salaf of this Ummah. And you'll find that it's like the West to the East. You'll find, the, and the harm in them, you'll find the, that there's no sanctioning in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, to supplicate to the dead. There's no sanction, there's no authority that you have to go to the graves and supplicate to the graves. You won't find this from Prophet Muhammad You won't find this from his Sunnah. Ayul Ahbab, supplicate for your brothers. And Ahl Sunnah know wherever you may be, whether you be in Damaj in Yemen suffering, whether you be at the, uh, fleeing for, for your safety in, 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 in Ethiopia or what have you, wherever you may be, that the Prophet ﷺ promised us. He said, لَا تَزَلْ طَائِفَةٌ مِّنْ أُمَّتِي ظَاهِرِينَ الْحَقِّ حَتَّى يَأْتِيهُمْ أَمْرَ اللَّهِ وَهُمْ عَلَى ذَلِكَ وَكَمَا قَالَ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ and in another narration, لا يضرهم من من خذلهم وما ولا من وما لا يضر لا يضرهم من خل من خذلهم حتى تكون الساعة كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said, "There won't cease to be a group or a party from amongst my nation on the truth." No one will harm them, even if they differ with them, until the Day of Judgment. Ayul Ahbab, Ahl Sunnah Mawjood. Ahl Sunnah is, is, is present all around the world. And we love Ahl Sunnah wherever they may be, whether they be in America, in, in, in Philly, or in Cleveland, or in California, or here in Seattle, or whether they be in Peru, whether they be in Japan, we don't care. We love all of them because they believe in Allah. They worship Allah alone. And our hearts are united based on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ayyul Ahbab. Anytime you find a da'wah, a way of calling to Islam which goes against the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, goes against the methodology, the Salaf of this Ummah, then run from it. Beware. Ayyul Ahbab Imam Babahari said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, Islam who was sunnah was sunnah to heal Islam. Islam is the sunnah and the sunnah is, a, is Islam. You can't separate them. So this is what we invite the people to. The Surat al-Mustaqeem. The path, the Surat Allah. Hablillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Hold on to the rope of Allah, all of you t- together. And do not divide. So don't divide. And Ahl Sunnah, don't give up hope and we stand strong and firm with you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilm nafir, uskin tayyibu, amalim and taqabbinan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless Ahl Sunnah with relief from their struggle and bless them with food where they're hungry and bless them with uh, 
wealth and provisions where they need wealth and provisions and protect them in their lives and their properties and their women and their children and their, their selves. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve the Muslims everywhere and forgive the Muslims everywhere and guide the Muslims everywhere and raise up the Muslims everywhere to come back to their religion and practice the true Islam. And may Allah protect us from extremism and avoiding extremism and being harmed by the extremists outside of Islam and inside of Islam, those people who are have went beyond the bounds. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and preserve us. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم